What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another top 5 and today guys we are taking a look at the top 5 dinos that are best suited for traversing the extinction map. Now these dinos that we will be putting on the list are from all 3 of the previous maps. So Ragnarok is actually excluded from this and the center so we're only taking dinosaurs from the island, Scorched Earth and Aberration because technically they are the three story arcs. So guys, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Alrighty guys, now coming in at number five, we have the Pteranodon. Now the Pteranodon is probably going to be your first flyer on the Ark Extinction map. If you haven't started out on the previous maps and already gotten all the other dinos and everything like that. The Pteranodon is still, in my opinion, one of the best flyers in the entirety of Ark just because it's actually one of the fastest. Now, obviously the downside to the Pteranodon is it has horrible stamina unless it's been leveled up. But other than that, it's still a really good mount to traverse any sort of terrain because it does have the slower base speed, uh, slower than a Wyvern, but it's actually faster than a Snow Owl. It is also faster than a Griffin. For those of you that play on Ragnarok, at regular flying speed, it is faster than a Griffin. Now, as well as that, they also do have the ability to pick up smaller dinos, and they can ferry a small amount of weight with them. However, if you do manage to tame up multiple Pteranodons, which is really easy because all you need is really a crossbow shot to the head, much out like a light forever. And then you can just take your time taming them up with whatever meat you can find on you. They are a little bit on the slow side of eating, but these guys are still really good mounts to have and you can tame them up in the bulk. They're really easy to breed as well, so you can get your high level ones really quickly, really easily, and they're just found everywhere. So they are one of the easiest flyers to get and they are hands down one of the best flyers one of the best dinos to traverse the map of extinction. So guys, Pteranodon coming in at number five, let's move on to number four. Alrighty guys, now coming in at number four, we have the Rock Drake. Now the Rock Drake is from the Aberration map and you can transfer these guys over into extinction. And the reason they're not number four and not higher on the list is because they don't actually have the ability to fly. They have the ability to glide, which don't get me wrong, is absolutely wonderful. It's a great ability to have. You can see there you are able to traverse the map rather quickly. However, the downside to this is that you do need to be on sort of high ground in order to get the best glide effect for yourself. You can, however, do this attack sort of homing attack that allows you to grip onto higher up terrain and get a slight speed boost, but you do need that high terrain to launch yourself off of, which could be a little bit troublesome to find in some areas of the map, but these guys are also quite good sprinters when it comes to it. When they need to sprint, they can sprint relatively fast, but their gliding ability is definitely the best one that you want to invest in. That's why these guys are at number four and not higher up on the list because they don't actually have the ability to fly, which is a little bit unfortunate, but understandable. They are still rather cool dinos to have, and I would definitely recommend getting one of these guys to traverse extinction with, just because they look absolutely awesome as well. Now, they're also really good in the sanctuary section of the map, just because they have that ability to climb on walls like the enforcers and everything can, they can actually just climb on any sort of structure. As long as you hold the spacebar and you have stamina, you are able to climb up any sort of structure and that is really good for the sanctuary bit because of how high all the skyscrapers are, because of how high everything else is and everything like that. You can see there he's able to climb up straight away and you're just able to navigate the terrain with a lot of ease with the Rock Drake. Alrighty guys, now the third best dino in our opinion that is best at traversing the map of Ark Extinction is none other than the Snow Owl. The Snow Owl is great, mainly because of its ability to do a dive bomb slash glide ability. So it's very similar to the Griffin in that you can actually just plummet and pick up speed as you go. This is great for, well, obviously traversing the map because you're able to pick up extra speed while going down and you can then use that extra speed to either propel yourself higher up into the sky again, or to just continue at a fast speed through the sky down to your destination. And these guys don't really utilize too much stamina when flying, so that makes them a great addition to any sort of traveling party. Now as well as that, they also have the extra abilities of obviously Predator Vision, which you're not really gonna utilize all that much while, uh, while traversing the map. I mean, you can if you're after a specific target or like looking for a player or anything like that, 
But the main ability of the Snow Owls that you will probably get the most use out of while traversing the map is the ability to heal themselves and to heal other dinos or creatures, or players even, and freeze them. So all you need to do is activate his secondary attack and you can either plummet to the ground and do a mini snow field popping up that freezes all dinos in your area for 10 seconds or you can just sit on the ground and actually activate it on the ground and heal your friendly dinos and freeze and heal enemy dinos. So that is an option as well. But the Snow Owl is definitely one of the best dinos for traversing the map in the Ark Extinction world because of his glide ability. He is the only other dino without DLC that is able to do this. The other dino obviously being the Griffin, and the Griffin, in my opinion, is way too OP even at this stage of the game. So let's move on to the other creatures. Alrighty guys, and coming in at number two, we have the Monagma. Now, the Monagma isn't actually number one on this list. You guys are probably like, well, who's on number one? What, what creature could it possibly be? Well, the Monagma is actually number two on this list because he doesn't have the ability to fly indefinitely. He's kind of got the stamina meter and he's got the ability to do the big jump and propel himself forward and then do that dive attack. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, he can't really stay in the air for really anything else because he runs out of stamina really quickly when this happens. The devs have actually nerfed him quite a bit since he first came out. He actually had a lot more stamina when he was first out, which is a bit of a shame because he's kind of not as good as he once used to be. So, for example, we're gonna... Can we, can we get back on you, big guy? Thank you. So, you can see there, we've got uh, creative mode disactivated now, so you can actually take full damage from this as well. But you can see here, his stamina does drain at a pretty fast pace. That was loud while using these abilities, so you've kind of got to be careful with it, and it's a bit of a shame because he's a really cool dino, and if he had like a bit more stamina enable that enabled him to actually fly around and, and utilize this ability more so, he would be a really great dino, but in my opinion he just doesn't cut it for the number one position, so that actually falls to another dino, so you can still traverse the map pretty well with this guy but he's not as good as position number one in my opinion. So guys, let's move on and see what number one is. Alrighty guys, here it is. The number one spot goes to the Wyverns. The Fire Wyvern, the Ice Wyvern, the Poison Wyvern, and the very similarly to the Rock Drake. And in my opinion, these guys are the best creatures to use to traverse the map of Extinction. The reason being because they have the fastest base flying speed in the entirety of the game. What that means is these guys' movement speed when flying is the fastest out of any dinos. So it's faster than the Griffin flying, it's faster than the Pteranodon flying, faster than the Snow Owl. Now that doesn't take into effect the Snow Owl's gliding ability and the Griffin's gliding ability, but they run out of stamina significantly faster than the Wyvern, and as well as that they just don't pack as much of a punch as the Wyvern does. The Wyverns can breathe fire, they can deal crap tons of damage, they have plenty of health in order to tank anything and everything that they face. These guys are bloody powerhouses and in terms of traversing the map, taking a look at what's around and just figuring out where you're going and flying around it and dealing with any enemy dinos or any enemy presence that you see goes to this guy. That's right, that's why the Wyverns are number one. Look at that, the damage that we are doing is ridiculous. You'll easily go toe to toe with the corrupted creatures located around the map and you'll easily be able to take them out. Especially with the Fire Wyverns Fire Breath, that will just melt through everything, especially corrupted Gigas. So guys, the number one dino for traversing the map of Arc Extinction goes to the Wyverns. Specifically, the Fire Wyvern because it's got the ability to breathe fire. Alrighty guys, now just quickly, one real big honorable mention that we want to toss out there is also the Roll Rat. This guy is great for going around Extinction Map because, well you can see here, he just pretty much just plows through anything and everything. And if you guys are after like a land based mount that can do this, look no further than the Roll Rat because this guy will just literally roll through everything. You've got trees, rocks, dinosaurs, corrupted dinosaurs, everything. He'll roll through it all. So as long as you've got like decent stamina on him and multiple saddles because the saddle does run out of durability and you avoid the water, you've got to stay away from the water, you can pretty much explore most of Extinction with relative ease with the Roll Rat. If you're just after a land based creature, like these guys are really easy to tame up, the passives, their saddle requirement isn't too much, they do require quite a bit of metal to make the saddles, 
But other than that, these guys are pretty, pretty schmick for going around and just rolling through all of Extinction. You know, if you ever get into a fight with anything you don't think you can take on, you can just roll away from it with enough speed to do so. And as well as that, we're running a 150 tame dude at the moment, so he came out at 225, and he actually has no extra levels pumped into his stamina or movement speed. So this is all purely just base leveled 150. And it's great, look at this, we're going to run right into this Rex, for example, and we can just easily outmaneuver him if he decides to come after us. You can see this Tyranodon here is trying to get us. Now the only downside to the Roll Rats is their horrible turning radius. But their turning radius while spinning doesn't actually reflect that. The turning radius while spinning is slightly better. Just like I said, stay away from water, stay away from big solid rocks like the outcrops you can see there, and you'll be all sweet. You can roll through everything and anything. So guys, that'll conclude today's video. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. Let me know whether or not you agree with it. Just to let you know, this was all based on my opinion and what we think is best. If you guys don't agree with it, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you would uh, swap out with. But other than that, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. And I got this song.